Hi folks, I'm Mark Johnson, and today we're not looking at a log cabin or a barn. Um, we're looking at my uh, universal hovercraft that uh, I've got for sale. And uh, I'm sitting on this nice custom-made trailer here that actually tilts up uh, in the front and has a winch on it, so you can winch the whole thing onto the onto the trailer quite easily. You know, these, uh, these uh, things here are my supports for my temporary summer cover that um, basically amounts to a tarp that goes up over the top of everything and so forth. But anyway, um, the, uh, the motor here is a, is a 94 horse Nissan engine. And um, the uh, lift motor up here is a 16 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. And um, there's a, a control for it. There's a control for it on the outside. So you want to control the throttle while, say, you're loading it or you're uh, docking it or, or something when you're not in the actual cockpit, then uh, that comes in really handy. Um, I'm going to start it now. Do you want to step up here a little bit closer? It's a, a little dirty from the last time we went out and uh, got into some pretty weedy stuff, so there's a lot of uh, weeds and things on here right now. But the... Um, the lift motor doesn't it has a faulty shut off on it. The key doesn't shut it off, so I just choke it instead. by um, the throttle right here that's on this um, control it runs those spins in the back lights on it and it has a bilge pump um, it has two bilge pumps actually one on each side in the back and um, that's about it it's got gauges on it for all the important functions the uh, um, fuel gauge is actually uh, right here on the dash because it's a float type gauge and the tank is underneath here so that's I think that's just about everything uh, I can think of. Oh, here's
here's the here's the control for uh, using the trailer up, uh, tilting it up, um, and then you can running the, the lift motor so it's uh, uh, basically floating. You can pull it up on the trailer real easy with this uh, little winch here. There's a remote control on it, which really makes it nice if you're trying to load it on the trailer by yourself sometime. So that's about it. Why don't you walk around here and show the other side. The, the, um, the skirt on it is uh, really in excellent condition. I have no way of checking that out when I bought it. But um, when I got it home, I picked it up with my um, forklift and a couple of slings. And there's a couple of little um, areas in the bottom of the boat that required some caulking, but the, but the skirt is in perfect condition. So anyhow, um, that's, uh, that's about it. The only thing I'd like to do to it besides give it a paint job is to put a windshield wiper on it because this motor can throw some water up. Yeah.